Hi, and welcome back to The Restoration. On this crazy cool episode, we're going to continue tearing down the frame, getting it ready for primer and paint. But first, I have to tell you, I just read an article about a guy they found overseas that has five legs. They say his pants fit like a glove. <laughs> now that's funny, Jayster. Okay, here's a frame after a little bit of degreaser on the bottom of there. And now I'm going to take off the last, really the last piece, which is the brake and clutch pedal, brake clutch pedal, and start getting that paint off of there. spots on that frame that I really can't reach with anything to sand it very well so I went and bought a Harbor Freight little cheap portable sandblaster and we'll see if that works that sandblaster works flawlessly however you can see sand goes everywhere wear a lot of protection anyway I love this new Harbor Freight 50 pound portable sandblaster works excellent well there she be um, got the phosphoric acid on there to stop rust and she's ready to prime and paint. Uh, I may even try to do that tomorrow if the weather's good. So I like to let the phosphoric acid sit over there on the, overnight just to get really nice and um, dry. And like I said, that protects the metal so that rust, flash rust doesn't happen to it. And you could go months and uh, not need to do anything to it because it stays just like that. Anyway. Well, the belt... Um, must have got loose and rubbed a little ridge in here. So I'm going to throw a little all metal in there, some kind of body filler. This is on the bottom of the tractor. Nobody will see it, but I don't like that big old rub mark in there. All right, that's how that looks. Filled up, ready for primer and paint. Okay, one of the things I want to work on today is the front steering assembly get this thing cleaned up and uh, ready for paint. It's gotten cold so all winter I'm going to be just trying to get everything ready for paint. But I was able, you know, this summer I bought a garage heater, the Cayenne 3000 Heat Master. Well, it's just Cayenne. Anyway, it's got the garage nice and toasty so hopefully I'll be able to work this winter and get this stuff ready to paint in the spring. So here we go. You know, before I get into the heavy cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, axle fully apart now. Got a couple C-clips on here. So we'll take that out. Take this other one off and uh, get these things cleaned up as well. Well, here she is degreased, and now I'm gonna get it in a sandblaster. I uh, sandblasted this part, and you can see it looks really, really nicely. Uh, it still amazes me after almost 40 years, um, it still amazes me you can find the marks on here where the dyes struck it so it shouldn't shock me but it, it really does there's a die mark right there or a press mark where whatever bent this thing but uh, get the paint off of there which you can't see any of this stuff until you pull the paint off and wow it's you can see how it was made anyway I'm gonna get all this cleaned up now all right 
that cleaned up rather nicely. Um, I still have to figure out how to get down into here and here, but for the most part, this cleaned up really, really nicely. So what I'll do is get some phosphoric acid on there, and it'll be, you know, after I figure out how to get this stuff out, and uh, just a little bit more stuff in there. But anywho, um, get some phosphoric acid on it, and it'll be ready for painting in the spring. Before I put the phosphoric acid on there, um, it was easier to see when there was no paint, but right there's a rub, and you can see it rub, it's kind of hard to see, but it rubbed on here, and on this side there's a rub as well, so something is a little off alignment, and looking down here, it looks like this bushing in here may have gotten worn up top. So, I'm hoping if I can pull that bushing out and get another one or make another one, it'll stop that rubbing. And so now I'm going to put some phosphoric acid on there and get it, uh, get all that nice shiny metal covered up. And that's how she looks after the phosphoric acid is on there for a little bit and dries. I wipe it off and that's the little haze it leaves on there. And this now is rust proof for the winter. Hopefully this bushing I'll be making on my new tool gloat. Uh, previously seen on tool gloat lathe. So there's a bushing and like I said you can see it's out around there. So use my press to press it out of there and see if I can make a new one. Well, what I'm going to do today is there are some various parts here. This is the, the belt part on the front. Get it apart. Got some various parts here. Just put them in the sandblaster, get them all cleaned up. Maybe the wire wheel across them and then some phosphoric acid. Get that clean up. Ready for the blaster. And this, kids, is what you get after wire wheeling, uh, sandblasting, and then wire wheeling. A lot of clean, shiny metal. Now the phosphoric acid. All right, you got to admit, that's a good-looking bunch of metal. Um, it's all ready uh, with the phosphoric acid and ready for paint. The thing is, is there's... If you look down in the holes, there's, there's a little paint in there. I can't find my little spinner thing to go in there and clean that. Just the holes have to be cleaned up when it's ready to paint. And uh, should be ready in the spring to paint. Ooh, it's time for Tractor Chat. Yay! Hi, and welcome back to Tractor Chat. For those of you just tuning in, you've missed an outstanding show. Jennifer Lawrence was here. Jennifer Lawrence! Thank you for stopping in and teaching us how to rebuild a hydrostatic transmission in two easy steps. Now all we have time for is one more viewer letter. Let's take a look. This one is from Scarlett Johansson. Dear Jaster1963, my name is Scarlett Johansson and I am a hot Hollywood starlet. As a matter of fact, when men look at me, they say bee 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 bee. I think I pronounced that correct. Jaster, the Male Model Association is still angry that you quit your promising male model career and they're saying negative things about you. They say that you are lip syncing your tractor songs. This is an outrage. These guys just are relentless. I will not join the Male Modeling Association again. I'm a tractor guy now. And I've never lip synced my songs and I never will. Anyway, thank you for tuning in today. This has been an outstanding show. See you next time.